This groundbreaking method involves inserting a small, non-harmful radioactive isotope into the rhino's horn, making it traceable and virtually worthless on the black market. In the fight to save Africa's giants, science is proving to be a powerful weapon. The isotopes are, are produced, um, they are transported here, and, and it's all uh, approved by the regulator, by the, by the SAPRA regulator. Um, these isotopes are then um, inserted in a hole that is pre-drilled into the horn, um, and it is then covered up, and, and then the, the animal is released. So it's a very fast procedure, it's like 5 to 10 minutes. What you've seen is first the animal needs to be darted, um, the animal needs to be um, put to sleep, as, as, as we'd say. Uh, that takes like 10 to 15 minutes, and then uh, the procedure 5 to 10 minutes, and then another 10 minutes for the animals to wake up. The radioactive material poses no danger to the animal, but it can be picked up by radiation scanners at the airports and border posts. We know that these horns are smuggled uh, through airports. Um, and so we have to be, I think we have to make the airlines aware of their potential responsibility uh, and the airports for making sure they screen these things properly. The project now calls for broader government collaboration to scale up the protection efforts across the country. Of course we will always be happy to partner with them at the right time because you know they are the custodians of you know, many of the rhino in South Africa so it would be paramount for us to actually work with the, 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 the those people in government. So yeah, we're, we're, we're happy to work at the right time. With South Africa losing hundreds of rhinos each year to poaching, the Rhizoto project signals a bold new era where science takes the lead in protecting endangered animals. Monique Lewis, SABC News in Limpopo.